Welcome back to Crankin' Out Crafts. We're continuing this month with alcohol inks. And now I'm going to show you how you can use alcohol ink within a frame and on an acetate surface. All right, so here we have a cool shadow box that we're selling. And actually this top totally comes off and it has lights inside. So you can turn it off, turn it on. And it has little magnets that are in these corners that just flip on there. So you can decide which way you want your lights to be at the top, bottom, side, whatever you would like. So I'm going to take, put this one on the side. Um, I'm doing actually the painting on the back. That way nothing will be touching it from the front side. Okay, so let's get started. Just turn that off. I have a brand new box here that I'm actually just gonna take the acetate sheet and lay it down this way. If you were to mess up on this acetate, you could actually peel it off and put another piece of acetate on it. So don't worry too much about that. Also gonna give it a nice clean with my alcohol, a little squirt. We wanna start with a really nice clean surface. Again, I'm using 91% alcohol. All right. So I'm going to take a few colors. This is stream. Put some dots on there. And I'm gonna take another color. This one I believe is sailboat. Actually it's stream. You don't want your things to end up looking like this. <laughs> that shows I get a lot of good use out of it. All right, here's another color called pool. I'll do a few little drizzles. And then I'm going to use this great little sponge on here with the applicator. It attaches with Velcro, love it. And it also comes in a circle or you can get felt tip too. I really like the spongy one. And while it's still wet, I'm just gonna do some little dabbing to give it some interesting texture. And I actually like to leave a little bit of white or unpainted surface, I should say. Now, if I don't want these really, really blocky type lines, I can take a paintbrush with a little bit of alcohol and just kind of touch on there to make those edges softer. Again, 91% alcohol is what I'm using. Um, I find that I get the best reactions with this. Okay. Let's see this fun stuff happening. I'm actually gonna slip a piece of white paper underneath so you guys can see this activate maybe a little bit better. You could use um, a heat gun or some air to blow on there, have a fan blowing on it so it can dry a little bit faster. But now I'm actually going to make one of my favorite, favorite subjects, which is jellyfish when I do these type of backgrounds. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm gonna take my brush and a little bit of alcohol and I'm going to start wiping away the space that's going to create my jellyfish. So I'm erasing with the alcohol. So I'm starting to form his little head up here. And I'm also using a number two brush. It's got a very fine tip. And I'm cutting in the ink for his little legs. All right, so I'm gonna start on another jellyfish because this one is still very, very wet, and so I'm not having a lot of control 
Um, but in the drier areas, you'll notice you'll have much more control. And I can really swipe away that color. All right, really liking how that's looking. And then this jellyfish, I'll have kind of overlapping this other one. Do a little bit of the membrane underneath. And then I want another one up here. And when I pull away the color, I'm actually wiping it off on my napkin. If we were just to go like this, it just pushes it around the acetate, but we actually wanna remove the color. I'm gonna do a little bubble here, just removing the color and making a circle. Remove color. Again, this is on acetate. The alcohol ink does work best on non-porous surfaces. You're not really gonna get any reaction, just maybe some staining if you use it on paper or canvas. I don't think it'll really sit that well. All right, now I really wanna control the next colors that I've got coming out. So I've got a little palette here that I'm actually just gonna pour a little bit of paint, ink. And then I'm watering it down or thinning it out with the alcohol. I call it water all the time. Okay, then I just wanna add a little bit of color in this guy and watch that reaction. If I want it darker, I grab more of the color. If I want it lighter, I add more alcohol. That looks pretty cool. And then I'm just gonna do some little detail in here, just some little dots. And maybe just add some darker color for these little tentacles. Super fun. And next, I have a spray bottle with some alcohol in it where I'm just gonna give it a little spritz and then let that dry. And it gives it a really great texture. So now I'm gonna flip it over so we can see, ooh, what it looks like on that side. And then take our little light box, and remember I put two A batteries inside this, and oh my gosh, I love it. And flip it up and just check that out. Isn't that cool? So you could either put the lights coming from the bottom, or you could flip it around and have the lights coming from the top. Either way, it's really, really nice. So check it out. Again, this was alcohol inks used on acetate with this shadow box.